First up, an outspoken critic of the current financial regulation bill, Peter Schiff, is the author of How an Economy Grows and Why It Crashes. Peter joins us now. So, Peter, what bothers you most about this bill? Well, everything bothers me about it. You have the Congress, which was uh, the creator of the crisis through the Federal Reserve and its guarantees of mortgages. They created the problem. And now this bill does nothing to address the root causes of the problem. If anything, it makes the next crisis that they're in the process of creating even worse. But, you know, David, let me, before we even continue on this, I got to make two comments on what came up before this segment. I mean, first of all, you know, Ben Bernanke is saying that we need to keep low rates for years low interest rates are part of the problem we're never going to have a recovery until we have right. higher interest rates I that's know. what we need and you know you also that congressman said that we needed to bail out these automobile industry or we wouldn't have one had we allowed chrysler and, and general motors to fail we'd have a stronger automobile industry today because we would have restructured right. them in a way that would make well, them peter, profitable peter, instead we bailed out the just, labor unions you have just demoted senator harry reid to a congressman that's okay but hey, i just wanted to make all, that perfectly clear well but all let's, senators let's talk, we're congressmen. going to talk about fin reg we got to talk about these financial yeah. regs because the folks out there want to know how it's going to affect their business and and most folks do not want another bailout. Will this do anything to prevent another taxpayer bailout of the big banks? Well, first of all, there, there were, we, ha we shouldn't have had the bailouts in the first place. What angers me so much is Congress goes and bails out companies when they had no constitutional authority to do it. Now they're saying we need a bill to prevent us from doing it again. And instead of doing that, the bill actually requires the next round of bailouts. So the whole thing is a scam. Right. Hold, hold on, hold on. How does it ensure that there will be more bailouts? because it sets up the framework by which the government will bail these companies out. It doesn't call it a bailout. It's an orderly liquidation where the government steps in and protects the creditors, but that's what they're doing. They're sending a message to the creditors of these large firms that if these firms fail, don't worry, the government's going to make sure you get your money back. That's not what we want. We want a free market. We want the creditors worried that they might not get their money back. And we don't want to give a competitive advantage to these large firms because it's going to squeeze out the smaller firms. That's what's going to happen. And who knows, all these new rules and regulations that we are empowering the regulators to write in pursuit of this bill, it is open-ended. They are going to ransack the industry. I'm a small broker dealer. I am really afraid that there's going to be all sorts of rules that are going to come down that are going to impact my ability to give my clients the advice that I want. I think I might be required uh, to give cookie-cutter government-approved advice of asset allocation, what stocks you can buy, what types of bonds you can buy. By, you know, I'm already dying from previous regulations. Have you, you know, I have 10% Peter, Peter, of my company. Peter, yeah. have you read the financial regulation bills? 2,300, no. <laughs> you're forgiven if you haven't, but have you read no. it? No, nobody's read it. All right. And okay. wait till the regulators how expand do you know? it. Peter, hold on. Then how do you know that it specifically tells brokers such as yourself that you have to, how you define what you offer no, no, your no. clients? That bill doesn't. We have to wait for the regulations to be written to implement the bill. That's what, what that's the danger. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at what's already happened. Ten percent of my company now is compliance people. Just I didn't have anybody wow. really. I did it myself ten years ago. It, it is costing me a fortune. It is already so complex. It is undermining the industry. It makes it impossible for the little firms to survive. And I'm afraid that the quality of investment advice, which is already pretty bad, I think, in this country, is going to be diminished further based on these rules. And I think that that individuals are going to be end up forced into treasury bills, you know, the, the investments that the government thinks are safe. And believe me, you know, Alan Greenspan says inflation is under control. It's going to wreak havoc with this country. It is going to run out of control. And unemployment isn't going down. It's going way up. And finally, Freddie and Fannie, of course, are not in this bill when a lot of people think it should have been because uh, this, is, this is a trillion dollar accident waiting to happen from a lot of people's perspective. Do you think that might, Freddie and Fannie, may actually be the next financial crisis that we're facing well Fed, freddie and fannie and you know the, the the fha which has pretty much taken over the subprime mortgage market you know freddie and fannie and the fha combined are guaranteeing more mortgages now than before the crisis began so they're an even bigger problem fannie and freddie and the fha should be shut down these agencies should not exist 
you know, but now we're going to keep them in business and the cost to taxpayers, either in higher taxes or massive inflation as money is printed to bail out these bad loans is going to be horrific. I mean, one of the things I want to accomplish if I can get to Congress and yes, senators are congressmen. They don't like to admit That's it, true. That's but true. we have two houses of Congress, <laughs> representative and senators. But if I can go to Congress as the United States Senate, I want to do my best to put these monstrosities out of our misery. We need to have a free market in housing, not government subsidized By the way, you mortgages. would be replacing the guy, Senator, uh, Senator Chris Dodd, who came up with a housing bill that essentially offloads a lot of the worst subprimes onto the taxpayer, correct? Chris Dodd is one of the single biggest reasons in Congress that we had a housing bubble. He protected uh, Fannie and Freddie from any kind of government regulation. They're the only entities that needed regulation because they were operating with government guarantees. That once the government comes in and guarantees their debts, they have to regulate them. But we did it because uh, Chris Dodd got all kinds of money from Freddie and Fannie, from the mortgage industry that he subsidized. This is not a free market problem. This is a government problem, and okay. it's about Time, time we retired Chris Dodd. But you know what? Now he's kicking us when we're down gotcha. because this bill is going to be is going to do more damage to our country way beyond his term. Peter, so he's still going to be hurting us. At that. Peter Schiff, who, as you might have guessed, is in fact, he announced is, is running for the Senate seat that is now being held by Chris Dodd, who, by the way, is now questioning uh, Ben Bernanke in the Senate Banking Committee. Uh, we'll be I wish I could question that. him. Well, you may have an opportunity to do that if you make yeah. it to the Senate. Peter, thank you very much for being yeah, here. That'll by the be way, something to see. The the markets.